Hello everybody. I hope you all are doing very very good. Today I am back with our story time. I hope you remember the story I sent you about the foolish lion. I will reiterate the story for you all. So you remember who all were there in the story? Of course, the foolish lion and the clever rabbit and there were other animals too the zebra monkeys okay so once upon a time in a deep deep forest lived lot of animal and in the same forest there was this lion what he started doing was he went around and started to attack and eat the animals this made all the animals very very scared they said oh my god we don't know when the lion will attack us it's like every day we are in fear of dying this has to stop they said so they all came together and decided that they will tell the lion one by one animals will go to him as their as his food so they all went to the lion and said lion you are old and tired why don't you stay in your den and we will come and send your food the lion said okay well enough i will wait for each animal every day like this one by one animals went to the lion and the lion got his food so the it was the turn of the monkey he ate the monkey next day it was the little rabbit turn the rabbit started in the morning and the lion also said mm i look forward to eat the sweet sweet rabbit today the rabbit you know was very clever while he was going to the lion he stopped on his way and thought i have to think of a way or else the lion will eat me today and one by one all the animals of the forest will die what do i do he kept on thinking thinking and thinking and he waited until it was dark and it was evening and the lion was very hungry he said where is the rabbit i am so hungry i haven't got my lunch today then the rabbit came and the lion said rabbit you are so late today i am so hungry where were you the rabbit said lion i'm so sorry i was coming to you only but but on the way i met someone he said whom did you meet the rabbit said i met another lion and the lion said another lion there's just one lion in the forest and that's me and the rabbit said yes yes i know but even that lion said i am the king of the jungle and he wanted to eat me and the lion said what i am the king of the jungle there can be no other king in the jungle and the rabbit said but he was there he was there and the lion said take me to him i want to see that lion and i'll tell him that i am the king of the jungle so the rabbit said okay come with me come with me i will take you to him so they both started to go towards the well so when they reached the well what happened the lion said where is the lion i want to see him why can't i see any other lion the rabbit said he was here i think he is inside the well the lion said inside the well oh he must be scared of me let me call him the rabbit said yes yes please go near the well he is there inside 
And then the lion went near the well. And then what happened? When he looked inside, he saw his own reflection. And he thought it was another lion. The lion said, hey you! And from inside came the echo of his own voice. It said, hey you! And the lion said, oh my God, this lion, I'm going to kill you. And the lion jumped inside the well and whoop, he fell into the water. And the clever rabbit got rid of the lion and saved all the animal in the forest. So children, that was the story of the foolish lion. Why was he foolish? Because he was so angry. He didn't think wisely. While the rabbit, he's so small. But when he tried to think of an idea, he found a way to get rid of the lion. So it doesn't matter if you are against someone strong and bigger than you. If we think wisely, we will be able to find a way in any situation. That was the story of Foolish Lion. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you all very soon. Bye.